This was the day that we said goodbye to the River Witham and the Fosdyke Canal to make our way back through Torxey Lock onto the tidal section of the River Trent. We'd pre-booked a nine o'clock time slot with the lock keeper and we were waiting for the lock to be prepared and the green light to tell us it was safe to head into the lock. These Roman numerals carved into the lock wall help the lock keepers determine the tide levels. After you leave the lock, there's a short section before you make a sharp 90 degree turn onto the river. This is the tidal section of the River Trent. We were turning left to head towards Cromwell Lock, a journey of about three to four hours. navigation guide that you buy from the lock keeper to help navigate the tidal section. I'll put a link in the description below to our other videos which show how to navigate in more detail. We also made a video on how to prepare to travel on the tidal section. confident travelling the tidal section this time, now we knew what to expect.
Every now and again when we were making a turn, the tie would hit us and cause the drawer to shoot open. But all in all, it was a very peaceful and uneventful trip. How long have we been going? Three, just over three hours, about three hours, ten minutes, something like that. And um, there's a cruiser sat on the lock landing, so that makes it difficult for us to get in there. I think we just have to hover, we have a red light. see the weir there on the left so all boats have to go through Cromwell Lock. These are the down rods on the lock walls that you loop your ropes around to help keep the boat steady while the lock is filling or emptying. This was one of the names that made the shortlist when we were choosing a name for our boat, from the musical Mary Poppins. We made good progress and before we knew it we were back cruising past the stunning Newark Castle. If you haven't seen them yet, check out our previous videos travelling the River Trent and then through from Cromwell Lock to Torxey all the way down to Boston on the River Witham. boater here that went on to cause quite a few problems as we continued down the river. Then we found ourselves in the middle of a boat race. Not a fun experience at all, with the boat rocking around from the wake of the boat and everything falling off shelves inside. Thank you. 
trying to get footage of the hay baler, which was fascinating to watch. After a long nine hour cruising day covering about 29 miles, we stop for the evening at Fiskerton Visitor Moorings, which are right next to the Bromley pub. Join us next time as we make a very early start to get back to the Trent and Mersey Canal but have some unexpected problems in one of the automated locks and have our longest cruising day ever. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment, we love to read them all.